Good morning, it's an awesome Sunday and I'm out doing my Sunday run. Well, obviously walking right now since I'm talking to you. And I'm doing my run around the Bay Run, which is, as I said before, a common running route in this area. Uh, but because all the gyms and everything are closed at the moment, it's gotten a bit too busy. So instead I'm doing sort of a parallel Bay Run route where I run just a little bit off the Bay Run, which adds a few extra kilometers to the distance. Because I run minimalist, um, I always make sure that I adequately warm up and then do some stretches before I start doing my proper full-on run. Yeah. And uh, sunscreen in my mouth. Taste is terrible. But that's a reminder as well. It's Australia. Technically, there's only about two days of the year where sunscreen isn't absolutely required. So make sure that whenever you're going outside, especially if it's a nice sunny day like this, even if it's a cloudy day, especially if it's a cloudy day, actually, it's where you forget about the UV rays that you lather on the sunscreen. And I did a good spray of my face. I've got the spray style sunscreen. I find that much easier to use. And I uh, got a good taste of it in my mouth just now. You see me wearing these quite a lot in my videos. Uh, quite often I actually forget that I'm wearing them. They are the Trex Aftershocks, and this is the Air series of bone conduction headphones. I have done a video about these before, but just wanted to remind you that these are probably the best headphones that I have ever worn. And I wouldn't wear anything else when I'm going running or cycling. Because they're bone conduction, that means they don't cover your ear hole. So you're hearing it through the actual bones in the skull. Um, and the music, the quality is actually fairly decent. I'm surprised by how good the music quality is, considering that it's sending music via vibrations into your skull rather than actually sending out audio waves like a regular set of headphones would do. These are um, a couple of years old now, I think, and I bought these specifically about a year and a half, maybe two years ago. Um, they're doing really well. The ones I had prior to these were the Trex Aftershocks Titanium, and they were also amazing. Um, I put them through their paces quite significantly. Um, I ran through storms and no problems. So the Trex Aftershocks Titanium and Air, I believe, are about IP50 something certified, so they're kind of splash proof, sweat proof. But they have released uh, the new version, which I believe is the Trex Aftershocks Aeropex. Um, and they are fully sealed. So with this one, you've got a um, little charging port, micro USB charging port. And that I do find it actually bends out a little bit. So over time, it will start allowing water to get in little by little. And the Aeropex, they are submersible, I believe, and mostly waterproof, but you can't really swim in them. They wouldn't last very long. Um, for that, they do have another product called the X Trainers, which are completely waterproof. They are for swimming. But until I've destroyed these, I'm going to keep going with them. Um, they're really light. As I said, I, I forget that they're there most of the time. And quite often, I'll wear them all throughout the day. Uh, battery life, it's stated to be six hours, but I find it to be significantly more than that quite often. And I'm not sponsored by these guys or anything. Um, I just really love the headphones. I'll leave a link to uh, the video where I talk about these headphones in the description box below. <sighs> One of the fun ways I use my bone conducting headphones is to learn stuff. So I listen to podcasts, audiobooks, uh, I've signed up to Audible. Um, so that gives me a credit each month. Uh, I think it's like 15, 16 bucks a month or something like that. So you get a book each month and you get to listen to it. And in that way you can either learn new things, learn a new language. I tried that before, that was actually quite useful. A lot of my training that I did for the Ironman, I learned Spanish. Another very popular thing to listen to is like self-motivation, uh, self-improvement, those sorts of books. So I listen to quite a few of those. Um, one I'm listening to right now is Boundless by Ben Greenfield. It is probably the longest audiobook I have ever seen. It's about 40 something hours worth of audiobook there. So for 15 bucks, that's a pretty good value audiobook. It goes through all sorts of aspects about improving yourself. Uh, so along with your health, your mental health, physical health, well-being, how you do things, 
and he's got a good background in triathlon as well. So he's, I think he said he'd completed um, like 15, 20 Ironman, something like that. Um, he, he's done his fair share of triathlon and endurance events and training. So that's why I'm listening to it and that's why I kind of trust what he says to some degree. Of course, all audiobooks take everything with a bit of grain of salt because not everything is going to work for you. It may work for other people, but it may not work specifically for you. So in these uh, last few weeks, months, and for the next few weeks and months, however long it goes on for with this whole coronavirus COVID-19 situation, you gotta keep your social distancing, um, be responsible, whatever you do, uh, follow all the rules that are provided and just be as responsible as possible. So that means exercising by yourself. That means you can exercise with one other person, but I thoroughly recommend getting a pair of these um, the Trex Aftershocks Air or Aeropex or whatever, going out for a run and listening to a podcast, something like that, and learning something. And that you can do by yourself. Additionally, what I'm doing, what many other people are doing, is doing exercise at home, whether that's from either watching YouTube videos, um, websites, just general knowledge of how to do exercise, or by doing an online class. My Kung Fu studio, Jiaoga Kung Fu Academy, of course, is shut down at the moment because of the whole coronavirus restrictions, but they are doing online classes via Zoom sessions. So I've been doing those, um, and I've actually found those really beneficial. I've learnt a form that I, uh, I knew it maybe six or seven years ago, five or six years ago, but then I completely forgot it. I haven't had to need, need to do it for about five years. And I've now relearned that entire form. It's all come back really well, all from doing the online classes. So that's awesome. To do the online classes, it's easy enough. You've got to have like a phone or a tablet or even a computer. And someone creates a session. They're the leader of the session. Once they've created that session, they send you the link to join that session, to join their room or group or whatever it is and you join and you can turn on your mic. I like to have these on as well um, because it's got a little microphone in them and I can also hear what they're saying without other people around me, neighbors and all that, hearing the class and me having to talk really loud so the laptop, tablet um, can actually hear me. But you do need to watch out. I had a bit of an issue the other day. Uh, I was doing the class and I had my tablet sitting there, leaning up against something. Big gust of wind came around and smashed the tablet. It fell from about this high up, fell onto the floor and absolutely smashed the screen. Time dilation. And so a satellite traveling 14,000 kilometers an hour, 365 days. Now the rest of that day, the tablet was being a bit funny. It was having ghost touches, phantom touches. Um, so I was considering the need to have to get a new tablet, but luckily um, after I did a reset, gave it a bit of a wipe, make sure it was all okay, turned it back on and it started acting normally again. Just unfortunately with a gigantic crack across the screen. So that's the sort of crap that can happen when you're doing these Zoom classes, but other than that, generally they're pretty good. Well that about does it for me this week. Thanks for watching. If you want more swim, bike, run and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.